Take one look and you'll see. Whatever. Where are you two? Hey, chick, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. In New York. Yes, if you're listening to this right now, you probably think we're at our fucked up desks in oh. our uh, busted, busted apartments. Wrong. We are getting off the Brooklyn Bridge right now, driving more safe than anyone has, <laughs> more safely, shall, shall I say, than anyone has ever driven in their lives. So we're about to take you through a time capsule through not just time and space, but through geography as well. We are entering New York City. Well, here's the thing. Yo, Jack, we've lived hey, in man. New York for how long now? Five? Coming on six years? Six years, but if you count the pandemic as two each, then, because those were hyper years. The pandemic That's does right. not count. The pandemic? No, oh, bro. I don't know. Extra, extra bro. Count. Is the hyper- because that makes you a... A lot of New Yorkers jump shit because they couldn't fucking cut it. That's right. They couldn't handle it. They went up to mommy and daddy's ranch <laughs> up in Maine, whatever. Ranch of uh, Cucamonga. Massachusetts. I didn't have that luxury. I get afforded so few luxuries. I had to rough it out with my remote job. <laughs> so I'm just saying, being in New York for that many years, you start to absorb the history of the city, whether you like it or not. Even if you fucking hate history, you can't help but absorb it. And we have memories all over this town. So here we are right now. We're actually well, outside we're, the courthouse. Mm-hmm. We just got over the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh-huh. And you want to know what happened right here? Oh my a God. historic moment happened here. No, Gangs of New York was right out, right out here, essentially. Well, the <laughs> biggest gang, you know what the biggest gang in New York is, the right? FBI. The Writers Gang of America. <laughs> that's right. Oh, Dude, Jeff, right there. Be cool that's it, it, right there. That's where we shut down Devil. Remember that show? Yeah. I don't either. Is that right? Is that the name of it? You shut down Devil, bro. Yes, we did. Right there, they gave up. That's they one threw of the in this white flag. And oh, guess what? Shite. The people who were running the uh, event, the, the walking, yeah. the picketing, they left all the signs there, and I took them home in a giant garbage bag. And I said, don't worry about it. I've never seen you more rageful or, or more prone to violence than you were during the WGA yeah, that strike. Was a, that I've never was a seen you like that. that. I had seen. I've never seen that's, something, something do, like that. That's, I, I didn't know that you myself. had that in you. were Dr. Jekyll. Jekyll. Nice. Jekyll and Hyde. Very clever. And Mr. Hyde. Yeah. Now you're Mr. Hyde. All sweet. Just a podcaster. Right. But just then wait. wait till the fucking streamers break their contracts and wait try to stiff I you on residuals. <laughs> That's when Mr. Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll comes out. All right. That's when I come out at four in the morning. I did one time, I think the stupidest thing I did during the picketing is it was like Ghostbusters. We were shutting them down. At like I came out at four in the morning and I had brought a bunch of whatever like signs and st- stuff in a bag and i didn't want anyone to notice it like the crew members to catch wind yeah and so i put on the top of the bag so you couldn't see all the picket materials i yeah. put a bunch of food so i had a giant bag of food i was just dragging what type of food set. canned goods Canned goods. canned goods and lines. Canned, canned goods, corn, beans, okay, all the so rest. So right away, that's a deep emotional story that's just been uh, livened within me. Just, just from unlocked being in Manhattan. via just from a New York foot location, of bro. And they, <sighs> this city is so rich. You've never lived here with stories. <laughs> never lived here. Just <laughs> so I, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, never lived funny. in New York, bro. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. That's quite pathetic. Quite that hilarious is hilarious, you, bro. Isn't it? You're but basically I've, soft. But I've basically lived in more types of uh, uh, terrains and varied, varied terrain. Uh, environments than you all have ever had in your life. Oh, like um, what? You Elden Ring in terrain? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Funny it's again. So pa- yeah, oh, right. RuneScape, just, terrain. Never never that. <laughs> oh. Super Mario Bros. Uh, type of land. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about is rural Ohio, where the real Americans are. The real racist ones. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'm done. Let me, and I'm done. Let me out of the car right now. Yeah, you wish you'd fuck it. You don't even know how to get around the city. You'd get run over by a taxi immediately. <laughs> Yo, we're coming up. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea, if there's you don't the bean. Yeah, there's the Manhattan Bean. They have one in Chicago, but oh wow, that, that, that one doesn't hold a that. candle. 
I want to give the listeners a vibe of where we are. We are just, we're coming from Brooklyn Bridge, financial district. We are coming up into uh, Soho. We're passing a theater called The Roxy, where I've hosted more short film screenings than (laughs) probably any other creator on the map right now. And you know what's funny? Just start to name some of the things you've seen there. Oh, my fucking God. I saw the shrill premiere. I saw the... I Short think films. I'm still here uh, where I saw oh, Spike Lee walk in. Oh. I saw um, I all sorts of short Lee. films. Can I describe my celebrity sighting <laughs> Please, the other bro. day? Because I posted this on the, Please, the Joy bro. Tactics Instagram. The busted paparazzi strikes again. <laughs> so I went down to the subway system on 7th and uh, 9th, uh, the, the F. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes that sense to me. Perfect sense. I went down there, and a cop immediately was kind of... Boo. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Get a real job. Was hassling me, and he said, stay, hey, hey, stay, stay on the other side of the tracks. The, oh. the train's going on on this side. And I was like, what's called going on? That's called a power trip. That's called a power trip. I don't live here, so I just went along with it. Maybe this is what happens at this time of the day in the subway or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I walk past into the subway, and I see a stationary subway car. <sighs> And I'm like, what's going on here? This is just wide open. All the doors are open on each of the the carts. And I look in, and who's fucking there? Mr. Denzel fucking Washington just sitting there. Oh. And I'll tell you, I don't get starstruck often because I'm seeing celebrities on a daily basis, and I've been Mm -hmm. around them many times. Mm -hmm. But when I saw Denzel, something happened to me. DW. Boner. Happened. Boner <laughs> alert. Oh, come on, man. Boner. Chill, chill. That's not funny to joke about. Yeah, right. But he was looking sexy, and we looked up I his I saw that age. picture. He, oh, what is he, 70? 70, dude. He looked dude, good. That's nothing. He, him Damn, and, he looks good. and also many uh, famous women as well are redefining what age means in this day and age, uh, in God. today's modern age. Thank God. But right. they were, but I walked a little bit, looked you know, to my left, and there was like a bunch of cameras and shit, and I was like, oh, this is course you know what's funny though Nate? Spike Lee movie. you know what's funny though to you that's like a crazy once in a lifetime experience like mm-hmm. and if another tourist saw that shit they'd be like what the fuck is my life right now <laughs> to me and Jack who live here and have lived here for almost six years <laughs> That's fucking almost boring, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. that would make me fall asleep if I, I saw that. I actually forgot what you were talking about. Bro. Well, Dance what we're talking about man. is you guys are fucking jaded. No. And that is one of the New Yorkers no. are the last thing that no, you New are Yorkers jaded. are. What you just jaded. described no, no, is, is no, no, the no. exact you know classic who New Yorkers Webster, don't think about LA. Miriam Webster definition of jaded. I, how could Wrong. I be jaded with so many bagel opportunities and to we're, get bagels around me? And we're just times. passing the most craziest pickleball fucking court I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> pickleball is alive and well oh my in God. New York City. Thank God in heaven. There's 40 account managers out there right now getting it in. <laughs> getting the sun, sun They're hitting screen. the beers afterwards. They're taking God, fucking... Shout out to all Y'all account managers out there. If you're an account Lord strategist, knows, I feel I kind of rock with you. Lord knows you are doing nothing for the company at all. You are no, working no. two Please. hours a day. No. Imagine no, out no, to no, y'all. No. chill. Imagine I need you an to... account out there with it no strategy company. behind it. The world could be over as we know it with an you... account just loose. <laughs> it better be. I think you you guys think that you're doing something really special by roasting account managers right now. You thought that I was doing that too. That's why you felt comfortable talking shit. Well, guess what? Some of my best friends are account managers. Oh. And if you think that they're not working hard, these people, whether it's important or not, these people are working 14 hour days and getting screamed at by the salespeople who get real full full ass commissions, bro. I don't even have <laughs> breakfast till hour 14 of so, my day. Just next time you want to come for an account manager, come through me. I'll just say this. Come through me first. And you think you're so special, Eric. You think that you're so special because guess what? You're talking to an ex-account manager right oh now. Oh, my Sitting God. right here next to you, dude. Why did you I wait was, so dude, long? That was my fucking job title for years. Dude, I miss... Was an account manager. So I you, so now you. You're, so now mm. you're thinking a little bit differently about how I was talking because right. I'm coming from lived experience. You never heard that phrase, have you? Lived experience? <laughs> um, no, I guess I haven't. <laughs> Frankly. Wow, dude. I, okay. I take it back. If you... Yeah. Okay, so everybody, we are at West 4th Street right now, going up north on Manhattan towards kind of Seinfeld area. That's about 70 blocks up this way. They've clearly just paved Upper the roads side. They, clear, they paved the roads. There's no lines. People are driving. 
as if it's a different type of country. Do you guys think this is going to be like a time capsule sort of episode where like in 30 years from now, like people will pull up this video like this is what it was like to live in New York City in 2024. Well, Maybe they can't so. see out the window. I think that's part of the problem. <laughs> but cool the way that we're describing it. it and the oh, detail okay. at which we're describing and the speed objects. at which Those we're going. Those videos scare the <laughs> fuck out of me when I see them. You know, because they sped up the old film to look a little more re- like uh, real. Oh yeah, movement. give them a little bit of the sunroof. Oh, oh that'll, that'll, yeah, you there see you go. the sunroof, right? You all notice how I'm not yeah, looking at the camera. I'm driving so safely and so aware. We're also praying to get into an accident, not because we want to wish harm on ourselves, but because we value virality over anything in our lives. It's mm. destroying mm-hmm. us. Safety. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if we got into a wreck, man, oh, are you? Could you? Could you? You don't even know about the monetization that would have occur from that. What you mean? Oh, well, you're saying insurance wise. The views, the views, the views, views would pay for wise. all of our medical costs. We I refuse have... medical treatment. It's a scam. Can we get medical insurance through like as, Joy Tactics? As a, we should have. We should I think have you need. Oh, you need like help? you need 15k views a, a video to get health insurance for this shit. There's got to be a way to hack that. I think we need to offer a, a health, like get a Blue Cross Blue Shield deal with, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with the patrons. So if you go to the Patreon and you subscribe five dollars a month, you could get the worst oh. health insurance ever. Yeah, it's cat- It's worse than catastrophic health insurance. <laughs> Meltdown. <laughs> Meltdown health insurance. Damn. Sometimes I come into Manhattan, especially from. It, there is a difference between Manhattan and Brooklyn. I didn't want to have to get into this, but oh. I'll come and to it's Manhattan. Not like that, the, oh, people yeah, are fucking go. so <laughs> hot. I'm saying this. People are fucking hot as hell. In Manhattan? In I'm Manhattan. I don't in know if car. it's the wealth and the skin. It's true. It's true. There is but a it's lot just of... fucking, they're glowing. Everybody's dewy. I'm out there fully sweating through my shirt if I'm walking in this heat. Well, the people watching is incredible. At this point, we're at West 14th Street. If you know, wow. you know. Wow, Union that is Square a very Street, essentially. Street. So I look around. What am I seeing? I'm seeing graffiti. It says Leroy. Oh, if you don't rock with graffiti, don't come to New York. Uh, I'll really tell you that right now. Or... You'll be very disturbed. And don't uh, come into my house either because you won't like the art. You won't like my, my murals that Jack and I have been working on. That's right. Let's just say we're taking down oil companies from within our own house with art. Right. Fuck you, Shell. Post no bills ever. Post no bills, feel no thrills. Is that from something? Mad villain style. That's amazing. Mm hmm. MF Doom. Oh, you know what? You guys, not to bring it back, but is pickleball a big thing in New York City specifically? East Coast. Bro. I mean, it's like sweeping the nation. It, no, it's an East Coast thing, dude. I, don't I have a New York <laughs> pickleball memory. So I was going to meet up and play pickleball with. A dear friend, his name is Sam Campbell. He's Australian, and he's God has given him a brain that has equipped him to do things that most could never do. Quite humorous. Humorously. Um, okay, now I don't know where my lane is. I'm oh. just go, just floor it. Oh, just floor it. Oh, brother, please. And we went to play pickleball. Mm-hmm. And he, at this point in his life, had never had a smartphone. This was about one one year ago. Big pothole. Um, and so he had Googled it, and we met up, and it didn't exist. And then we tried to find a pickleball court and we couldn't do it, but we didn't we didn't use a smartphone. Oh, and you know what's funny? What what? <laughs> what's Tell funny me is, now, please. No, I chill. can't wait to hear it. What's funny is, because this is gonna relate to the bonus episode this week as well. What? I think I also didn't realize I had COVID during this hangout as well. <sighs> I'm, I'm noticing a pattern. Co- I'm noticing a pattern, bro. Not enough for it to matter. Not enough for it to <laughs> Yeah, definitely ever, not affecting my ass. The house. I feel like there is a 100% chance that I get sick on this New York trip. No, don't say that. I can't get sick right now. I feel like I, I can feel something gestating. Like, not in a way that I can feel it, but don't. I know that... No, the, the, it's because you had the Guinnesses last I've night. I've just been around too many... too many. Uh, there. You went to one Tricks Point. I Never. went to a concert with fucking 40,000 people in there. Uh, on in in LAX, JFK. There, there's almost there's no chance I I'm not sick. I don't have some sort of illness inside of me that my body is fighting off in a crazy way. How do I? Uh, you know, you just manifested a bacteria to go right in your brainstem right now. Nate, say the opposite right now. Say the opposite. Actually, actually, there's no way I'm getting I'm fucking healthy, sick. I'm healthy. I'm pure. I'm I'm uh, I'm healed and. Uh, mm-hmm. 
That's what I thought. There you go, washed away. I'm afraid for this cop to see the mic. Okay, it's all good. Oh, this is the least of the concerns. You know what? I fucking run yellows like it's my day job out here. My skin runs yellow sometimes. So what I'm <laughs> saying... <laughs> So uh, what I'm saying is yeah. we are getting dangerously close to what's called Central Park. We're on oh, 26th, yeah. 26th Street. That's a very difficult street to say. Um, For you, maybe. Well, <laughs> okay, man. So <laughs> somebody's out here in all black and a giant black coat, a and it's so puffer, hot. <laughs> uh, riding a bike. But they don't have a drop of sweat on them, and they have tattoos as well. So what's funny is that none of these, do you ever feel um, basically extreme vertigo being around a bunch of really tall buildings? I used to, Jack, until I got the CPAP, and now? Well, I used to not, and then I saw Inception, and it changed my entire life as I know it. Well, you're not the only one. I stayed up for six days and then watched Inception, at which point... <laughs> Dude, all my why, perceptions why changed. would you do that to yourself? Because bro. that's how they t- prescribed you to watch it. You didn't listen to Leonardo DiCaprio? No, I don't watch interviews with actors because I don't want to be remembering that they're not their characters. So why did they name <laughs> it? <laughs> 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 oh, nah. Okay, hey, and Eric, where are we going to right what? now? We're going to... Beautiful Central Park. To the Apple Store. Oh, because guess what, everybody? I know you've been curious about my computer situation. I know you've been trying to send me Alienware laptops. I know you've been trying to, <laughs> Lenovo's trying to give me a sponsorship. I'm going MacBook, y'all. Uh-oh. I just got to do it. I can't believe it. Dr. Bougie I just got, strikes again. No, it's not even bougie. It's just it's just a real. It's practical. You deserve it's a tool, bro. It's not even a toy. A, it's a wrench. This MacBook it's Pro will be a thing. tool for my hands to write amazing films and whatnot that's right so wait describe the last two computers that you had in your possession okay two of the worst computers that are 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 that you could get on the market i would say well you realize i've had day jobs right so i had one pc at for my (laughs) it was a dell at my last day job where if you picked it up it would uh immediately the screen would would uh uh, malfunction and glitch out on you so i couldn't even pick that shit up then i got the mini pc which we know about if you listen uh, to this podcast the worst, pretty, pretty much mini goes PC down in history as one of the worst purchases of any human being on the planet wrong the mini pc wrong because now i'm rocking with the new one the new <laughs> mini pc is great pretty cheap too and then i had a macbook air i mean you guys are curious to know this but i got a macbook air in about 2014 but that shit's toast yeah. So, yeah, it's time for a MacBook Pro. Your wow. first MacBook Pro ever? Dude, yes. Have you yes. ever had one? I had the white MacBook from about 2008 all through college. Then I got the MacBook Air 2014. So, bro, this is going to be uh, an upgrade. Oh, upgrade. Wow. You're going to be playing The Sims. There's no question. Of, oh, if I get the M3 chip, yeah, I think I can play Sims 2 <laughs> on that. No fucking problem. No problem. <laughs> And the i9 processor, that's when oh. you need to just call it a day, man. Now, how much, now how much am life. I about to drop on this, 2500 Nah, nah. I'm not getting your crazy Cadillac version, Jack. I'm oh, not getting no. that you, big Trust fat me, one. you, you want to soup it up. You're going to be using what software is? Final Draft, I'm right? using Ableton, if you are some using government Ableton, programs. <laughs> Final Draft, <laughs> QuickTime, Screen Recorder. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to get the... Yeah, your beats are about to be crazy. <laughs> I could just do that with me mouth. Garage this is the band, fucking most Eric, classic you're about computer, to have organic band, computer. Dude. I have that on my phone already. Oh, 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 oh! Somebody's dancing over there. It's funny. That's where I make my atheist hymns. <laughs> 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 you know what? That's that's what atheism needs is some fucking some catchy proper. music. Oh yeah, there's no. That's uh, get everybody is? bumping. A hymn is a song. It's not a line. A hymn is. H Y M. All oh, right, I forget you don't know Christianity like that. Well, yeah. I don't yeah. yet, but yeah, I'm, it's kind of like I'm this. Taking Sunday Jack, let me let me let me put it this way. What's that now? You know the 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 music at the beginning of Halo? Oh. Yeah, that's a hymn. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Does like anyone that. put a beat behind that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Does anyone put breakcore behind it? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm playing Halo. Now I'm back in Tribe, Becca. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's Damn. a Halo. Concrete so Halo, Halo. Empire State of Wait, Mind. Wait, question. Empire State of Mind. The Covenant State of Mind. The Covenant State of Mind. <laughs> where does Taylor Taylor Swift's in where? Tribeca, right? I've been to her house. Now, oh, now we're, we're not we're not doxing her, but yeah, back she her, her it's on the. I could say her whole address right now, but Chill, guess what? Bro. It doesn't matter because you could Chill. know in the pen, where the Pentagon is. That doesn't hey, mean Taylor. you can get inside. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> You might not Yo. want to be messing with me. Be very <laughs> careful, Nate, because she has powers with you saw what she did to Maddie Whoa. Healy and cursed him for the rest of his life. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> oh, Taylor you doesn't use by the way. Time. Taylor does not use bodyguards, bro. She uses fucking what I call the extendo clip berettas and fucking <laughs> about Yep. Uh, she, she, you don't. She's got uh uh-huh. she's, little... she's like Bayonetta, the character. Oh. She's got the guns on her shoes. You just don't see them, bro. She's got guns on her keds, whatever she wears. Being backstage at the Warner Tricks Point Never Dude, show. Dude, stop. And I'm sorry. You I need to stop on, bragging, bro. I know, I know. I Sorry I keep saying that. Yeah. It's such a special moment for me to be backstage at a concert. One of Tricks Point, 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 One Point, one, 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 one point, point Never. never Damn, now ever. locked into One of Tricks Point Never, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that is going to oh, be Oh, we're samples. seeing a crazy run. All right. right. <laughs> well, well, chill. Well, okay, so um, tell but, me, yeah, tell me about that. But just being backstage like once you're kind of like I just I just felt like it's so easy to like kind of fake your way back into Thing. Not that we did that, but no, we were. They were begging us to come back. They were all yeah. begging, and he didn't. We were know. in the he, middle of the crowd, and they fucking know. and they stopped the show. Yo, is that motherfucking Joy Tactics? Get them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Well, that's just, and the and the crowd parted with. Oh yeah, it was like Moses. D- uh, like, drop oh. jaws, bro. Oh, I thought you meant they parted the audience like for us. To Can I say something real quick? Yeah, of course. There is an appropriate time, and there is an inappropriate time for crowd surfing. At a show like that, yeah, drag me by my feet at any moment and grab me. If you see me on the train, if you see me at Equinox in Dubai, do not, do not just if, put me on your head. If like I'm this. at a military funeral, don't do fucking not throw put me my on ass your ass head. up there. Not the time. If I am at Jamba Juice giving them a lecture about how much ginger to put in the ginger shot, <laughs> do not grab me and put me on your head and start crowd surfing Damn. me. That's not when I want I've that. I've seen Jack fucking go berserk style on a Jamba Juice. Don't let on... me talk to you about roots. Oof. Where are we going to get boba tea? We're getting that in a minute, bro. Nate, relax, I need man. it, man. Oh, I there's a place I really tea. want... Should go. we tell everybody what boba tea is yet? Dude, boba is ready. so okay. I don't. I think it might just be in the major cities right now, but <laughs> this is almost like a milkshake. Well, well, it depends if you get smoother. it slushy. It could be smoother. It could be just milk. It could be all types of um, consistencies. But you can put these black, uh, basically pudding, uh, tapioca balls. Tapioca pudding balls and. Suck on them. Uh, <laughs> Suck up, uh, you can do whatever I did you want. I just get to a them. little lightheaded again. <laughs> Where's my water? <laughs> They're chewy. They're chewy. Oh, you could get yeah. and the best flavors. Let me tell you the best flavors right now. This Watermelon, is... strawberry, uh, blueberry. Uh, no, bro. Taro, taro, red oh. bean, red bean. That's how you show them. Ube. You know what's up. Let me get the. But it's it's called taro, but you call it ube. Ube. Get the ube. The yeah, that purple one, please. Damn, I'm such a sucker for the for Ube. Shout out to Salesforce. Minutes. We are just passing the Salesforce tower. Salesforce, I Thank appreciate y'all you all for giving us the CRM that right. businesses need to develop and grow at a st- sky staggering right. rate. Salesforce, and, and to ooh, all those rah. sales ops engineers that are out there right now, the unsung heroes of keeping <laughs> uh, oh shit ad delivery pipelines going. We appreciate y'all because we know how hard that shit is to keep clean. Mm-hmm. And to all you sales folks that think it's just it's just fun to throw something in the pipeline without really fully asking uh you're messing it up for everybody okay okay because you're getting a little too over eager to just sell the product when you need to think about the health of the business as a whole and by All right? the way it's the end of the month so i want to give the salespeople just a little bit of a pep talk this month is about to be over you mm-hmm. only have maybe i think this is going to drop may one who knows anyways we're at the end of a cycle right, right. now. so you can come in fresh the next month with a new pipeline and a new um, prospects, new um, leads, okay, that you're going to be 
just attacking. It don't forget about this last month. I know this was a bad month for you, and but this next month, I want you to fucking just really visualize your family. Be, like I'm, I'm, I'm going into Andy Elliott, official Andy Elliott talk right now. But I need you to visualize on every sales call that you get, on every door that you knock, if you're door to door sales. Imagine that your family is in the basement of a very bad person's sort of house they've been kidnapped and if you don't fucking 3x your revenue this month they fucking die and you like them slowly and you like slowly painfully and you'd probably if that were the case that would hurt your feelings that would be you'd probably get that 3x revenue wouldn't you yeah yeah you would so why do you have to have this imaginary scenario happen in your head to be the best version of yourself to be what you would to to rock in and fully live out your potential it's an american sickness bro that people need to be motivated by a violence uh, humiliation and violence (laughs) and there's just no like i mean you got bootstraps for a reason pull yourself up by them now and they're not just for tying your boots, too. That's no, that's what's funny. They're for getting up. They're for getting they're for yourself up, up off the ground with no help from anybody else. And by the way, that doesn't just go for people in sales. You don't realize that everything that is in commerce is sales, dude. Do you understand that? So, yeah, mm-hmm. if you're working at a diner and you're not taking it seriously that there's new blueberry pancakes on the menu and you haven't tasted every single blueberry to tell them what it is like, <laughs> I need you to go go into work early. Make Get up in the fridge. Take out the pancake batter. Take out the blueberries and mix it up and taste that stuff so that you can tell people from the bottom of your heart what a blueberry, what is on the menu today. Mm-hmm. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. You've been here before, right? No. Go up to somebody's table, say it like this. I know you've been here before. I've seen you. If they haven't been here before, hello, welcome. This is your first time. I can already tell that by how nervous you're looking at the menu. And give them a spiel like they've never heard in their fucking life. Okay? I know you're tired of it. We're all tired here, man. What's the point of waking up every day? What's the point of waking up if you're not living the dream? Because you were just dreaming, right? So why Mm. get up in the morning? And what's the point of having coffee if you don't have your cream? If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Where you're just passing 30 Rock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Radio City and Music Radio City Hall, Music which we will be doing a live podcast uh-huh. from very soon. And a Taco Bell Cinnabon combo that I went to one time after applying for a host job when I was 29 years old. Oh. And, and Magnolia Bakery. And Wake up in the late afternoon. Uh, call uh, Parnell just to see how he's doing. doing. Yo, what's up, what's up, up Par? Yo, what's Sandberg? What's cracking? You see in Narnia? Yeah, yeah man, what's, what's, what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we go into the Chronicle. Yeah. What? The Chronicle. Of what? Chronicle. Of Narnia. Narnia. The chronic what, what calls of Narnia. Narnia. Snack attack, motherfucker. Okay. He says that. Oh, Come yeah. on, man. But, Jack, I really liked what you were saying, too, about all that sales shit. But this is what I want to say man. to mix it in with the service industry. Right. If you're a server at a restaurant, this is how you upsell. And what is an upsell? An upsell is when the person <laughs> is going to purchase something, but you get them to purchase something for a greater price. Yeah. Here's how you do it. Here's the trick. That, and you guys know I just said I was an account manager. I was also a server. I've worked in many different industries. You are incredible, man. So as a server, here's what you do. There's probably liquor at your uh, establishment. If there's not, that's a sad fucking place to work. Work somewhere else that has liquor. Get Go up to them and say, if they order a Bloody Mary, say... Hey, is uh, is Grey Goose okay with that? You don't even give them the option of well, because they're just right. gonna say yes. You're so that's cheating an automatic them. You're manipulation. Cheating them, bro. Sales is about manipulation, and I'm gonna give it to give you the hard facts and the hard truth. A lot of people want to say that it's about building a relationship. No, it's about manipulating manipulation people's thoughts. and wearing people down to the till they're dust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Then you say this. Oh, Tito's is great, right? Okay, mm-hmm. great, or whatever. Grey Goose, whatever you say. Oh shit. Then you say this. Oh. Add avocado, right? Huh? Oh, you've never had avocado in a Bloody Mary? Trust oh, me. you're going to like this. Cha-ching, 350. Cha-ching, 450. Cha-ching. It's these things. It's these And then things. here's the extra hack. They don't, 
they, they usually don't take the customer's copy receipt so you can just scribble out their tip and put in like a thousand dollars oh they yeah. don't have the legal proof to <laughs> and i used to do that all the time and, and guess what the bro they never hack. check they, they you never, never like ever. Mm. and ready when you're le- ready to take it to the mm. next level here's what you do you remember who ordered the most food who's spending the most money guess what you do follow them home <laughs> see where they live break up into that shite and, and ask don't take a lot for a mentorship that's what i'm saying <laughs> just why do we not have mentors we that's the non-violent we breaking and entering we don't have podcasting mentors we just got have we been spotted without. as podcasting they're looking at us now they think we're fools right so that whole family of that <laughs> were fools. they just looked at us like we had no heads no one else has looked but that did make my ears turn red though that just looked right at us that was the wrong people to get that look from we need to pull up on and on somebody and i'll hand the mic out and then we could have a oh guest. yeah oh you want to have a guest on and then we can have it it will say parentheses. look at this guy we'll get their name yeah oh there are some athletic people here so you know what the fits do get a little more busted the more north you go into Manhattan. And there's almost no oh, trash anywhere. I'm just driving over some broken glass. No problem. Here it comes. We're about to enter the botham of Central Park. Ding, Park. ding, oh, ding. Ah, ding, ding, the ding. Uh, of the, the, the graveyard of John Lennon, right? What? Is there? John Lennon, the British You think he died in is, Central Park? Did he he didn't die. Well, he died in Manhattan, right? Right. So, well, I don't well, know he's that. He's buried in... Central Park, you correct? Go to a hospital in Jersey. Am I Is crazy? there people buried in Central Park? I think Bro. the grave site. Or, or those are memorials. There's Sorry. a memorial, there's a bench, man. A, a memorial for. Her. Oh man. The chronic what? Cause of Narnia. Wait, this is the song though that comes into my head every time I even get close to Central Park. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. That's that Beirut song. No, it's not. Oh. Come with me. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take one look and you'll see. Whatever. Where are you two? Hey, chick, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, hey, hey sure. Hey. Hey. hey, man. Not uh, cool. Sorry, sorry. Really, this happens in the next episode, and I already called you out for that. So if you guys were offended by that, Wait till the Patreon episode. That's when I call them out for that type of behavior. <laughs> People are okay. so soft these days. It's fucking pathetic. Eric, don't say my stand-up bit. I see it in your head already. <laughs> I already see it going through your head. Yeah. Okay. You know what's beautiful about this area? What? Is all... So, I think everyone on the that listens to this podcast is familiar with the idea of classism. Oh, bro. If you're not... If you're not... Bro, it's quite a curious. It's a conundrum. Just get if you're not, get 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 ready for a crazy ass Wikipedia. Get ready to be taking to the the green pill. Because it'll you know kind of open your mind a little bit about how societies are structured. Oh, I have an I have a question for you guys after this podcast is over. I would like to really quickly. I'm so sorry. I just interrupted. No, it's cool. I was just. About I to would ask. like to all get the silver bikes and do a lap around Central Park, please. Yes, sir. And you know I need this right now for reasons I can't discuss. Yeah. Are those the e-bikes or the... E-bikes. Doesn't that sound fun? We can do it. Get some ice cream? No, we need to We need to fucking uh, burn some calories, man. On the After e-bike. the bike ride ice cream. But we're not burning any cows on the e-bike. Nate, right? you are That's... such a fool to have that mindset of burning calories. You don't realize what's coming. You need calories for what's coming in this country. <laughs> when the grid goes down, you're going to wish you had a couple hot dogs that you could cut off your arm and grill up. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> um, and Eric, well, yeah. you don't have to hide what you're doing. Eric is getting an elective surgery very shortly, <laughs> which is going to change his it's life. It's a multiple-month surgery. It's very experimental. It's a spiritual surgery as well. So we're bringing uh, in shamans from around the world, from every <laughs> one shaman from every on continent. On <laughs> 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 one shaman from every uh, religion. They're all gonna, they're all gonna to uh, give you braces. Uh, suck on one digit of Eric's fingers until it goes down to the bone. Well, how many people could you get to suck on one hand? One, a lot. one two, two, three, four, five. Three. Automatically. I don't think you could get more than. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
because the heads are. Well, you too. could break you your out hand. shamans to suck on your fingers. <laughs> oh, you know what? How I gotta this? spend this money somehow, bro. <laughs> What's that man's name who removed one of his own ribs in order to do fellatio upon himself? Marilyn, the Marilyn bastard. Okay, so Manson. Marilyn Manson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you right. think that's radical? We do not want to mention. We him. officially do not rock with Marilyn Manson. We roll with him. Yes, sir. No, we don't. Don't even show. play. There's a diptyque in that mall. Oh, you know, we should. It, we should. Why yo, there's a guy with a mic right diptyque. here. Hey. Oh, oh shit. Yo, go, go back. Go back. Oh. That's an international journalist. I, I swear to God. We could have had a fun moment with the. But you don't like that type of stuff. Should I have pulled over? Yes, you should have. We could have had a. Wait, we could have had a serendipitous moment. We're looping around. On the news. We're looping around. My brain is on the way out. Why? It wasn't my choice. That's a celebrity. Get ready because are we really re- looping around? Because this is about to be the most viral Whoa. fucking ass clip ever. Podcasters in a car meet meet, meet international meet journalists from <laughs> Portugal. Do you think we should just That's get really somebody right. to hop in here? Should I just make some room and get someone to get in the back with us? We should. Uh, that would actually be kind of fun. Get somebody off the street. So let's go up to what? Columbia Kidnap University. Karaoke? Oh, to the protest. Oh, you want to go up to the what are they called? The what, Wall Do Street. You, no, I'm thinking just get some. St- My cousin goes to Columbia. You got a cousin? <laughs> yeah, dude. I keep telling you this. You've never told me you had a cousin. Oh, bro, you never listen then. I is don't what forget I'm hearing. cousins. Maybe I was drunk. I've never I forgotten your cousins. Name one of my cousins right now. John. Wrong. What's happening here? Nate, do you have a cousin? I'm. You got kissing cousins. I, I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill. So funny. That's my wife you're talking about, man. I like Alicia Keys. Is that oh, so crazy to say right now? Crazy, oh, biker crazy gang. group of bikers, uh, e-bike gang. Oh, kind of going they got kind of like motor. That looks style. fucking sick. I want one themselves. of those e-bikes that look like a motorcycle so bad. I'm getting one. You can't stop me. <sighs> MacBook Pro or motocross? Motocross. You have to choose Dude. between the two. Motocross, because so quickly I could do make money professionally doing that shit. And buy at least three MacBooks. <laughs> what is on that Within bus here. in front of us? Bro, that that's an the... advertisement for Mad Max Furiosa. Oh, really? Yeah. Which we will be Looks um, like an filming bro. in the theater and <laughs> leaking to the patrons, which Just we do with every <laughs> every sort of blockbuster yeah. hit. I'll tell you, mm-hmm. it looks like an advertisement for a We did it with that new Sydney Sweeney movie. Yes, we did. Looks like they're advertising a militia that takes place in a hospital where they ain't got much time left. I'm actually so stoked for that movie. Furious, uh, Mad Max. Is it Italian? Uh, Mad Max oh. Furioso, man. Furioso. <laughs> Furioso. <laughs> Have you man. seen any of the Mad Maxes, Jack? Um, just the Did first the... five minutes of one of them, yeah. This car is you... going so slow. It's Bro, pissing me off. Why? Are you kidding me, no, dude? No, actually, yo, if you're listening to this, I don't, don't get... Watch violent movies. I don't get road rage. I'm very patient. <laughs> Oh, I get road them. love. If somebody cuts right. me off, I All literally what are you going I'll start through? smashing into them and right. getting them f- there further. Right. Oh, this person's got a meeting. This person's, uh, you know, hungry. You got to take a shiz. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm not gonna curse. <laughs> but <laughs> man, yeah. oh wait, we're about to literally drive past Sauron's fucking building, Sauron's tower itself. Bro, that is what Trump Tower is right oh. fucking here. Yeah, oh. Trump International Hotel, really? aka fucking evil ass huh. hotel. Interesting. Oh, I was wondering why it looked like Cheetos were in the air. I do feel like my left arm's going numb. What the fuck? Oh, that's just because what that? of what could that be? Muscle gain. That's not death. It's muscle gain. That's Watch so this. fine. Roll down your window, Eric. Donald Trump! Fucking <laughs> yeah, racist! You ain't racist piece of shit! You ain't racist piece of shit! And Nate, I, that's very funny, but someone did just set themselves on fire recently around here. I <laughs> was would've... that around? Was it yeah. really? Wait, oh, the, the crypto guy? Yeah. Oh. I don't know that either. Oh yeah. my. So, that was very funny, but... But, well, what you don't realize is that humor can exist in ways that can lighten sort of these dark moments that we're experiencing Mm -hmm. and that people need comedy and they need humor and people want to say that you can't joke about certain things certain topics right which i agree with in some extent but in another extent everything's not black and white as well certainly not eric you're okay man you don't think you think if this was a a medical emergency i would be feeling it more intense i wouldn't worry about it 
because you're in the safest city <laughs> right. in the world. Right, right. What do you so need? CPR, Heimlich? Right right right. For some reason, it feels like both my arms are falling asleep. <laughs> oh, well, if it's both of them, then you're good. Yeah, it's. The, I think. It's I feel like my head and eyes are falling asleep. What's that about? I feel like you know that massage gun. Yeah. And you yeah. put it, and it starts to go numb. You're feeling that too. I feel that in my brain. Oh, I feel fuck. like my brain is losing. I feeling. thought we'd be able to relate on the arm thing. Nope. Well, mm. physically, we're not meant to hold a mic like this in the car. Mine's we on my belly. Me- we weren't meant to be right. doing that. We weren't built like this. Unless you're Mike Shinoda. Unless you're, you're always fucking practicing. Theo Vaughn. When I pretend everything is that you want me to be, I never thought that what oh. I'd say had oh. you running from hey. me like hey. this. Uh. Bro, you got to pay him a royalty nah, 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 now. Nah, nah. Well, I pay him royalties every day already on Venmo. <laughs> Mike, Mike Shinoda, Shinoda please won. return my messages. I <laughs> sent you $200,000. I accidentally <laughs> sent you three fifty. I meant to send you $35. Send it back uh. if you're listening. So, Central Park has a darkness to it, does it not? Isn't there something oh, that happens dude. at night that that we don't know. don't bring it oh, up? Are you talking about the freaks coming out? Don't you? Haven't you? You guys been doing some investigations? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Let's just say that murdered. there is a new brand of um, what's it called? Rabies that is sexually transmitted, and people are coming here, and they're trying to get it on purpose. Will your dick be night. foaming? Will your dick foam? Yeah. Foam, at the foam is very Chill, valuable. Dude. Foaming at the pussy. Whoa, Nate! Dude, that's enough. You just bro. said the p word. <laughs> that's you enough. Realize what you just did, dude? Not oh, cool. Don't laugh! Don't laugh. Yeah, that's hilarious, man. <laughs> Say the most. Here's what I would do, hey, Nate. Word if you were my kid and you just said, "See, like that." Guess that's what a I would gentle do to parenting you? moment of fully ignoring you. You would. I know what you. I do. wouldn't you gentle would. parent you. I'd make you smoke the whole pack. I would make you say pussy a hundred thousand times, <laughs> Mr. B style, on the live stream. Pussy, 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 pussy. You know what I'm saying? Until your tongue. F- Falls off, slash it on your own teeth. Do well, you guys, somebody told me I have circular teeth recently. Is that true? Who said that? Hmm. Um, I mean, who said that for real? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dead name them. Not dead name, but I'm not gonna call them dox them because we want to have them on the podcast soon. Right. Right. There's so many <sighs> relationships that I would like to to burn, but because they're potential podcast right. guests, you can't say to. shit. It's kind of stalling my life, frankly. Do you think there's bit. something I could say so quietly into the mic that only the listeners could hear? You guys couldn't hear? Yeah. Maybe. Try it. Uh, what's up, everybody? Can you hear this? No, <laughs> uh, actually. Hey, man. So just so everybody knows. Mike Perpignan. I, I have an amazing, <laughs> I have a really fucking awesome surprise going for these guys at the top of Manhattan that they don't know about. Yeah, I, I can hear what you're saying now. No, you can't. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, all right. <laughs> Well, basically, what's going to happen is, right when we get to the top of Manhattan, I have a bunch of people who are going to hijack this car, and they're going <laughs> to think that it's real. Mm. And they're going to come in with guns and shit, and Eric's going to get fucking, what's it called? Gun-butted, whatever it's called. Gun-butted. <laughs> and it's actually Jackass, and these guys are the stars of the next Jackass movies. Would you guys be in Jackass for real? What am I doing in it? Well, Eric, you're just doing the mental stuff. Oh yeah, mental jackass. Mental jackass. <laughs> worst. People have to like. You have to get the worst insults of your life. All right, Eric's mom is gonna say what she really thinks. Fuck. Go for him. Eric's gonna do 600 milligrams of THC and talk to his mom. About oh my about what god. He, what he's gone through. I don't think if someone paid me a million dollars, I wouldn't do 600 milligrams of THC. What if they paid you a million dollars a second? I. That's a yes. I think it would break me forever. And so many things have already broken me forever. Yeah. It's, it's There's only so many pieces of me, you know what I'm saying? Ashley Simpson. <laughs> What's oh, that song right. called? Pieces, yeah. pieces of, of me. me. On a so she got it. Ashley Simpson and Ryan Cabrera run for president. Ryan Cabrera. Ryan Cabrera, 10 Tricks Point Never Collab. Let me see that Photoshop so for the concert. You're telling me we haven't, we haven't driven past one New York icon, one New York celebrity? You and just don't have the, the eye. You know how pro they are at hiding in plain sight in New York, bro? <laughs> look for the baseball hats. Look for the fucking stunner shades. <laughs> Every single one of these people are most likely celebrities as well. That's what's so cool about New Yorkers. They don't need that front. It's a city of micro celebrities. Fetishism. They just settle for the good stuff. Cha-ching. The Cha-ching. Green. Cha-ching. Cha-da. Cha-da. So what's Cha-da. amazing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I don't, We're I, off I think a point is going to come soon When I'm going to want Every single episode of Joy Tactics Off the Take internet Take scrubbed From yeah. the internet Yeah 
the gr- the great. Once you start driving. running for office, uh, I'm gonna run for all sorts of office and all sorts mm. of different countries at the same time. Yes. Well, I, I do I, feel like, like I frankly just lost lost steam. Is this the is this the seven drinks that we had last night? Where it's just like you can I you're think just like, we hit our limit. I feel like right. You're also There's only so much you guys car. can ask of us. You know what I mean? Like right. we're trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is top effort. Watch me dig deep right now. Wow. Ready? I'm about to reignite everything please. with something amazing. Please, please. Well, guess what? What? I have about six or seven relatives that live right here. Upper West Side? Upper West Side. And if anybody ever tries to hurt them, let's just say Spider-Man, you saw that right. Well, my shit's going to be even crazier. I want to tell everybody right now, we are parked right outside of the American Museum of Natural History. You can pee in there. You can pee in there, and you've seen <laughs> fucking Night at the Museum, right? No, not way. You know about that Bro. movie, right? Stiller. You uh, cannot be serious. That was filmed. Robin right Williams, next to me right Owen now. Wilson, Luke Wilson, Luke Wilson. I think, yeah, maybe. Written by. Do you know who that was written by? Was it written by uh, what's his name from The Leftovers? Nope. It was written by the Reno 911 cops. Oh, every single one my. of them, <laughs> and they're <laughs> no. not even in it. No, they're not. I don't think so. <laughs> Holy. By the Calm the one with the, the tight little the them tight Nick little shorts. You're talking about Thomas Lennon. Thomas Lennon and Ben and something. Ben what's his ben name? The guy who's the ben Taco Marshall. Bell dog. Well no no no, maybe I'm thinking of something. Ben Kubrick. So whatever. Two of them are right. We got here. some. Oh, oh naughty, naughty driving. Sometimes a, a car deserves a honk and that was one, but I didn't give it to him. <laughs> honk if you're going through it. How about, how's that Honk for, uh, if life is getting your ass down right now. Honk if you need jaw surgery and you're not ready yet to take that type of time off of work. Okay? Wow. Yeah. Let's get real. A honk for everything that everybody's going through. Wow. Yeah. And Nate's off the camera again. Am I fully? Yeah. yeah well, it just keeps drifting towards. It's so hot in here, Nate. I don't know how you're wearing that sweater. I know. I don't either. Well, I was wearing a fucking V-neck in the other episode. And I, was like, right. I can't be wearing a V-neck. Like, I'm sorry. I just Before fucking, we lose any I more patrons, yeah, yeah. what gave everybody joy? Thank. I'm so glad you just said, fucking <laughs> said that. Dude. What gave my ass joy? Yeah. I'm not kidding. Hmm. Well, I'll no, tell you what you gave me joy. What's that, Nate? Being in this great city of New York fucking city. Because I haven't been here in maybe a year. No, no, no. Six I was here in months. September, I guess. But that's so a long it's been time. around six, six months, bro. Six months it's been since I've been here. Are you kidding me, dude? You were that's baby. too long to be away from your spiritual home, New York right, City. Right. <laughs> and it's just good to be back. It's good to be fucking back. And yeah, I got a show on May f- May fifth, uh, seven thirty p.m. at Union Hall. Get your tickets now; they're going fast. Yeah, I'd scoop them up right the fuck now if I were you. Uh, you want me to go? If, yeah. Well, here's right. the deal: I don't like to be joyful about the future because we don't know what it holds. The future is one of the most mysterious things imaginable. People have been wondering what's going to happen in the future for over a hundred years. People were wanting to know what's next. Right? Right. Well, I kind of know what's next, in a sense. And I know that we're either getting a bit of ice cream or maybe a bubble tea. I know it's a beautiful (laughs) day in New York City, just as God has intended it. Not a cloud in the sky, except for a couple. And I know we're going to ride our bikes around this shit. And not even sweat, because it's the silver e-bikes that go all fast. I'm going to be looking at you guys, and I'm going to feel lucky. That I get to be in New York in this moment wow. with two of my best friends after recording one of the most interesting podcasts that's ever <laughs> been uh, recorded, whatever. Um, and it makes me almost cry. So that's what gave. That's what's going to give me joy. Okay. Wow. Okay. And what? <laughs> um, and what gave me joy? Yes. Can I see the phone for a second? Yes. Don't. Oh, it's not even plugged in. Oh, just, we. This might be low battery, battery, bro. Just, this you? might be low ass battery. What gave me joy is, you can guess it. I'm growing well, out my facial hair. How good's that look? This is about two weeks. Looks pretty good. I'm also using ointments that are helping my acne scars go away very rapidly. I noticed. I noticed. 
So that's great. Yeah, my neck's coming in too. Bubbles he tried. If you were wondering about my neck hair. So every single one of these hairs is like me getting a kiss on the cheek all day long from the sexiest hair follicle in the world. So I get joy from all these thousands of kisses, and I know thousands more are to come. Um, and if anybody has any recommendations to get the, uh, these were acnes probably about months and months and months ago, and now they're just red dots. If anyone has any advice, I'm not doing that great. I'm in my 30s. I'm losing my hair. I got no... Um, no. All right, wrap it up, wrap it up. Re- leave it there, leave it there. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's Joy Tactics. Man, yeah. Man Adam knows how to do it. Show him the city. Yeah, we that's a mom and her maybe daughter. I have a dash cam, man. Oh, Get bro. Out. I have a secret dash cam I haven't told you about. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, goodbye, everybody. Peace out from 94th Street here in New York City. Bye I'm now. Right oh. Okay, take the phone. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreon.com slash joy tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.